Good morning or afternoon or evening, whatever time you're joining me. This is your reading for Friday, September 20th. Or if it doesn't apply to you at all, uh, as always, take it as a, uh, as a lesson in the card meanings. And I do allow for reversals, so we'll see what comes through. Okay, hanged man in the morning. Maybe we're sleeping in. Maybe we're really, really surrendering in meditation. Maybe we've gotten some major guidance in meditation. Maybe it's a day of just not having a whole lot of energy. Sometimes we have those days when, you know, you, we just, we're human. Sometimes our bodies are healing on other levels or we just really need a day off. Now, with the moon coming through reverse, so Ace of, I'm sorry, yeah, Ace of Wands. <laughs> Ace of Wands reverse can be sometimes delay, sometimes a lack of motivation, sometimes low energy, sometimes just feeling really weighed down, uh, sometimes feeling rejected or having some rejection, some outright rejection come through or some bad, bad um, news. Um, Missing opportunities was another one with the Ace of Wands reversed. Sometimes that'll happen with the Ace of Pentacles too, though. Um, but the moon coming through reversed. Now, and this is interesting to have two, um, two majors coming through and you just have three cards. So the moon reversed is releasing fears. Uh, it's releasing past levels of confusion. It's coming into clarity. The clarity's within you. It's not up in the sky. You're not looking outside yourself for clarity. You've got it. So if you're delayed with something, maybe it gives you time to go inside and then this is the result to have that clarity. I like that. I um, and then sometimes it's, you know, it can be, usually when it's upright, it's about confusion. But sometimes when the moon card comes through reversed, it can be going through some depression or, uh, and, and know that that will pass. You know, depression is just healing feelings that were repressed in the past. Um, it's just, you know, the time for deep rest. I like hearing it that way. Instead of depression, how about deep rest? I think, who was it said that? Somebody said that recently. Oh, it was Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the moon reverse can sometimes also be going through the dark night of the soul. So if that's what's happening, if you're, anytime we're, we go through the dark night of the soul, and it can happen more than once, you know. Uh, we don't have the same physical energy because we're meant to be going inward and clearing things out, and the energy needs to go towards that healing, that, that deep soul healing. And we do, we really do have to surrender to the process. And the way to work it the best, the way to get the clarity, is to look at things from different angles, look at things from different perspectives, Question the false beliefs from every, you know, every different angle that you can. You know, just think it through. Like the false belief comes up, hopefully, you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, that's your work. To, to clear your soul, you need to figure out the, the false beliefs that you're spinning around in. And when you question those beliefs from different angles, from all the different angles, you'll find out that it, they're not true. You know, it, it's... Well, for instance, let's think of one from like eon, well, not eons ago, but how many, how many hundreds of years ago? Maybe only 100, I don't know. I would have to look it up to see when you could be put in prison for your debts. I mean, I know that's a thing, that was a thing with the monarchy. Uh, in America, it probably happened, though, I would imagine. Nowadays, there are debt relief programs and there, there are, um, uh, you know, courses that you can go through to teach you how to manage debt and how to not get in debt. So it's kind of like rehabbing. 
But if you have a false belief, so if you go into major, major, major fear, if you're somehow, you know, saddled with debt, maybe it's coming up from a past life where you thought you're going to be thrown in prison. And that takes up a whole lot of that, all those false beliefs, whatever they are, they take up so much energy that we really do have to get to the truth so that we can clear them out and have our life force then flowing freely and clearly. All right? So if you question the false belief from different angles, all the different angles, figure out what the lie is, figure out what the, you know, the false belief is, then turn it around. Take, take the lie and turn it around into the truth, and you will heal a part of your soul. And you keep doing that until you don't need to anymore. Until you come into alignment with your own truth. And that's how you get through those dark nights of the soul. So, okay, that's all I have for today. Thanks so much. Take care as always. Bye.